Hello, Tim from Fair Play now on the 1st of June 2021. Just got a, uh, a late outing here to do. Just got to go and quote a job, but I've got a few minutes before I've got to get there. So I thought I'd just do a quick report. While I was at home there, I was just starting to go through the latest episode of UK Column News dated yesterday, the 31st of May 2021. So they're obviously their Monday episode. And I got about halfway through it. I'm going to watch the other half later on. But already in the first half, they had some two particularly stunning bits of news. First of all, the London Freedom March on the 29th of May. They reckon, the UK Column News reckons, there was a million people there. So absolutely astounding numbers and you could see the presenters were absolutely overjoyed when, when they're sort of reporting on that it, it was really great to, to see but they then went on to say of course how the mainstream media reported on it and there was an article by the evening standard who said hundreds of people attend the march hundreds and it's quite ironic because i saw another uh, article from the evening standard uh, earlier on today about the twickenham stadium being re uh, turned into a walk-in jab center and in that article they were saying how thousands are descending onto twickenham for their jabs you know, kind of bigger than Glastonbury and all this sort of thing. And when I looked at the footage that, that looked more like hundreds of people. And obviously when you look at the footage of the march, that's thousands. So may maybe they just got the uh, the two headlines confused. Who knows? Or just maybe they can't count. Or perhaps there's just something a little bit darker going on. I'll leave that one for you to decide. The other main bit of news is they were saying they've now been permanently kicked off of YouTube. So sadly, UK Column News will not be on YouTube ever again. So sad because it's just such a wonderful, truthful news programme. But you can catch their episodes on their own site, ukcolumn.org. And what I might also start doing is actually linking to each episode they do on my website. I've got to work out how to do that. But if I work it out and I start putting their videos on my website as well, I'll sort of come back to you with that link as well, um, which, which is perfectly legal. In fact, they actually say, you know, please do put our episodes on your websites if you can. So they've actually basically asking me and other website owners to do the same. So, yeah, bad news as far as YouTube's concerned with UK Column, but we'll get around this as we're going to get around all these other things and I'll do my part by every time they have interesting content, I'll be reporting on it in these videos and also linking as well, like I say. So... I'm going to leave it there. If when I get back home and I watch the rest of yesterday's episode, there's more stuff to report on. I'll come back on that tomorrow. Tim from Fair Play now. Thanks for watching. Just a quick add on. So I've come back from quoting that job, but on the way there, I was coming up to this T junction and two young girls, probably about 18, crossed the road totally both not right both of them not right but out in the sunshine no one else around them so they stand almost zero chance being 18 years old of dying of anything sort of current virusy shall we put it and yet they both step out into the road in front of me without looking and okay, uh, I wasn't anywhere close to hitting them because I was driving sensibly and just trickling up to the uh, the T-junction. But 
that was more sort of thanks to me rather than thanks to them. They just, both of them just stepped out in the road without looking whatsoever. So they're taking precautions on something where there's almost, or not any need whatsoever to take precautions. And yet they're not taking precautions when there's a very, very clear danger. It just shows you how messed up things are at the moment, doesn't it?